North Korea claims it has successfully tested a hydrogen bomb, a device which can be loaded onto a long-range ballistic missile. There's no independent verification of that claim. South Korea and Japan say it was a nuclear test ten times more powerful than the previous attempt by Pyongyang. <laughs> A jubilant newsreader on state TV announced that the bomb test had been a complete success. The device was of unprecedentedly large power, she said. The news came just hours after state media published this photograph of Kim Jong-un apparently inspecting such a device. The test comes against a backdrop of heightened tension in the region following multiple missile launches by North Korea, the last one conducted less than a week ago. Earlier, seismologists detected a powerful tremor measuring 6.3 near the north's main testing site at Pungari. Well, uh, let's talk now to... Uh, let's... Trump on attacking North Korea. The crisis with North Korea escalated Sunday as President Trump reviewed military options and suggested sweeping new economic sanctions in response to the crossing of a dangerous threshold by the isolated nation and detonating its most powerful nuclear weapon ever. Define Trump's blunt warnings, North Korea claimed it had successfully tested a hydrogen bomb that could be attached to a missile capable of reaching the mainland United States. Though not yet confirmed. Pyongyang's apparent show of force was extraordinary. The hydrogen weapon is vastly more powerful than the atomic bombs dropped on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and drew swift condemnation in capitals around the globe. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe called the action absolutely unacceptable. In Washington, Trump declared North Korea's latest provocation very hostile and dangerous to the United States and would not rule out a retaliatory strike. Asked as he left morning services at St. John's Church whether he was planning to attack North Korea, Trump told reporters, we'll see. Trump sought to assign responsibility for the unfolding crisis to North Korea's neighbors in the Asia-Pacific region, firing off a series of tweets that signaled rifts in United States economic and security partnerships that for years have helped isolate and contain North Korea. Trump also said on Twitter that he was considering cutting off trade with any nation doing business with North Korea. China is by far the country's largest trading partner, but it also is the largest United States trading partner in terms of goods imported and exported. Such a move would amount to Trump's biggest trade salvo to date and would be nearly impossible to pull off without devastating the United States and global economies. Trump's response to North Korea's weekend nuclear test is sixth ever, but the first since Trump took office was subdued relative to his bellicose war of words last month with the country's 33-year-old leader, Kim Jong-un.
back to his feet.